Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So, uh, yeah, yesterday was a pretty wild day. Um, you know, I, I, I wasn't thinking yesterday was going to be that big of a day just because, like, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it was the release of episode 9. I guess technically it was the release of episode 10. So, you know, bigger day than usual during the week. But all that Rick Grimes stuff, man. Oh, my God. Yesterday was a really good day. <laughs> you know, if you're a Rick Grimes fan, yesterday was a really good day. And, yes, we don't have the official confirmation but you just sort of look at everything and it just kind of feels like, yeah, you know what? I really, at this point, it seems like he's coming back and there's also, you know, there's also a strong possibility that it's not for just one episode either. It might be a little bit more and I really wonder if they're going to be somehow integrating him into the story in a way that doesn't mess with the movies. And if anything, maybe, and that's the thing, and I'm going to do a video talking about that a little, a little later on, but like, I really wonder if this is sort of the, the starting point for the movie, you know, like not in terms of the story or anything, but if having him come back in some way is very much integrated within the Commonwealth story and the Civic Republic, you know, because there's a lot of people in this trailer, you know, there's a lot of people like these people here, like, why are they here? You know, this, they don't look like Commonwealth. I don't know if they're Civic Republic. You know, they kind of look like it, but it, it might not be. I don't know who they are. I have absolutely no idea who they are and why they're going through the hilltop. So that's something that, you know, to say that's Rick related, you know, maybe it is, but I, I don't, I personally don't think so. But you got to wonder if they are slowly starting to like add some things here, you know, like Carol and Lance's relationship is really interesting. Rick Grimes's return, you know, like I think the way I see it is like, what if The Walking Dead? ends with Rick's return and sort of them just being totally fine and happy. Like, think about it. Like, say Rick returns in some way because he needs help because of this, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't need help, but just some in some way, you know, he finds a way to come back and they, it's not during a big time jump, right? And so everyone's sort of freaking out about that. That's amazing, blah, blah, blah. And so everyone's, you know, freaking out about that. And it's just, you know, it's emotional. It's this big reunion. And then basically by the end, you know, Rick has to leave because Rick has to go deal with this. There's a CRM threat or whatever. Daryl and Carol maybe can't follow him because he's like, no, I have to go and help. Like maybe Michonne's not there. So he's like, I have to go help her out. I didn't realize she was gone. You know, this way that the Daryl and Carol spinoff kind of makes sense. And then it's more of a happier reunion because you're saying, sort of I guess it's not really a goodbye to like characters like Aaron, Father Gabriel, Eugene, Rosita, and etc. I don't know. I really wonder where they're going here. I really wonder where they're going with all of it. But anyways, there's a lot of time for us to, to talk about that. And this one here I actually wanted to talk about the trailer for episodes um I guess episodes eleven and on for part two and man this looks so good. There's so many things here that like again it's sort of it it does it can if it wants to, right? It can connect to the Rick stuff or Rick coming back if it wants to. Like, there's stuff there where I'm like, you can bring him back here or, or you can hint at the Civic Republic here, which could lead to that. So, anyways, before going any further, make sure to be a subscriber if you want more Walking Dead content like this. And if you haven't followed me on Twitch yet, definitely go do so if you want to join uh, the Walking Dead nights on Sundays or I guess Saturday nights going into Sunday. My Twitch channel name is Appetite for the Dead. I hope to see you guys there later on this week. So we do see Alexandria being visited by the Commonwealth. I don't know where this takes place. This is probably, you know, I, I, like from my guess, just because of the episode 11 trailer, I'm guessing this happens around episode 12. It seems like a lot of, a lot of that stuff there is going to be happening in 12. We see Aaron sort of preparing for their arrival. And... You know, I think that's the one that's one of the things that I think we're going to slowly get into. And I think that's why they're waiting to show us this right now. You know, episode 10, and I guess I should say that this will contain spoilers for 10. But episode 10 really focused on how good the Commonwealth was. And yes, there's some, you know, you can kind of sense some uh, corruption. People there like to discriminate, definitely. There's a lot of those issues there, but there's safety. They have so many things. There's so many valuable things. And things are basically normal. So episode 10 sort of just focused on that, you know, and it got to a point where it was almost a little creepy. And, and like, you sort of had like this unsettling feeling. That's kind of what I had when I was watching the episode. At first, it was so cool seeing Daryl, in the, you know, at that Halloween event. And then just slowly by the end, it just kind of felt like this is too fake. Like, this is just so fake. Like, I get it. I mean, I, sort of what we're li living in real life, right? But I don't know, on the show, it just felt so fake. And like, you can tell the characters are starting to see through it a little bit, but I think the episode, that was sort of the design of that episode, right? And so I can't wait to see, like, they're slowly starting to reveal all the cracks within the Commonwealth, what's really wrong with it. And I think when they go and visit Alexandria, I think that's where we're going to really see it. You know, it's the problems that the Commonwealth have with Alexandria and the Hilltop. That's where they're going to become villains. 
because the Commonwealth are likely here to discuss the terms of, of their deal and all of that. You know, I, I really think that, I mean, if you're integrating Alexandria in, into the Commonwealth or the Hilltop, there's going to be a lot of stuff to plan out. A lot of things have to be planned out and worked out here. You're going to have a lot of people that are probably going to be put in charge of things. Alexandria is going to lose what defines itself. You know, I think Alexandria will, first of all, have to adopt their currency system which could mean people getting kicked out of their homes if their jobs don't line up with, you know, and, and that'd be really sad. And I think that's one of the things that I could totally see Aaron being like, no, hey, they've been living there literally this entire time. That's their home. We don't give a shit about your money, this and that. And, and just the way, you know, like that's literally their home. And the Commonwealth might have an issue with that. And through force, because they actually have the ability to do that because they have the military, they have this like sort of police force. They're going to be able to bully their way around this. And I think Aaron's going to have a big issue with that. And I, yeah, this is one of the things in the comic that definitely, once it was brought up, it, it was really interesting because you have, you know, a certain way that they've been living, which is basically just like Rick has been living like, you know, they found this community. Just go pick a house. You keep that house. All right. You live there. You know, if you want your buddy to live there, you live there. Basically, everyone's equal. You don't you don't discriminate against others. It's, you know, it's plain and simple. At the Commonwealth, you sort of have to you know, there's a social class system there, you know, your lower class, middle class, upper class, this and that. And it gets really, you know, it gets really tricky when it's like that this place has all this safety and they're holding that above everybody. I mean, it is sort of the way the world is in general, the world was, I guess, in this story, but it's through their force and how much power they have in the sense that they sort of take everything they want. But again, it's sort of in a good way. It's not like they're forcing it on you in a sense of like, if you don't do this, we're going to kill you. Like, they're not like Negan and the Saviors or like the Whisperers, right? They're sort of normal. It's just that you lose a lot of your freedoms. Like, you are losing a lot of your freedoms. And that's why this meeting right here is going to be really big. The meeting between Pamela Milton and Maggie. It, this is going to be a really big meeting. I mean, we're not going to get Pamela Milton meeting, meeting Rick. You know, that's one of those things that I was really... Like, that would have been so amazing. Could you imagine if we saw this Pamela Milton meeting Rick Grimes? Man, that would be so cool. Like, I, I, I can't even, like... But she also does meet with Maggie in the comic as well. And so that's why, you know, just as a comic fan, it's so cool seeing this meeting here. I'm really excited for this. Because Maggie does not like her. You know, like, if there's one person who is sort of our leader, our ultimate leader, our hero that we must follow, sort of, like, you know, that's on, on our team, basically... It's Maggie, because I would say Daryl's not the leader of, of that point of view. Daryl's sort of in the mix here a little bit, right? Like he's kind of on Pamela Milton's side a little bit here, but he's also on Maggie's side. So it's really complicated for Daryl, but Maggie definitely is on the opposite end of this. She does not trust them and she does not want to be associated with the Commonwealth. And I think she's pretty upset that everyone else just sort of is just going with going with the flow with that, right? And so I really can't wait to see how this is all going to play out because again, uh, the Commonwealth want to, you know, they want to force their way onto them really badly. And I think they're going to try to do it like diplomatically <laughs> or whatever for a bit. And then it's going to get to a point where they don't. And that's where it's a little scary. And so I really wonder how that's going to play out. You know, at some point, Maggie's just going to end up losing. Like Maggie at some point literally will just end up losing to them because the Commonwealth, they are the way they are. And I think that's where the people, you know, if there's people within the Commonwealth, which obviously we got that big teaser at, at the end of episode 10, then they have some numbers and then they can actually sort of make a stand, right? But this is, it's going to get tricky here for a little bit. And I mean, we, we know Pamela Milton, first of all, her outfit and everything here, so comic accurate. It's amazing. It's just so cool to see. Uh, yeah, th this encounter here, I think is going to be one of my favorites in, in a really long time. Like, yeah, I'm so excited for this. It's just so cool because, like, we never got Maggie meeting meeting with Alpha. You know, like, that was a big encounter in the comic, Ma Maggie and Alpha or Rick and Alpha. We didn't get any of that. We haven't really got, a like, a, a villain and hero meetup since Rick versus Negan, really. It's been quite a while, you know, so I'm, I'm really excited to see where this is going. And uh, yeah, we have this shot of Lance here and Lance, you know, he's definitely up to something pretty scary here. And I, it almost kind of seems like at this point he's work, he's working against Pamela, you know, to try to get his own power. Maybe he's trying to overthrow Pamela to be the new governor of the Commonwealth because he seems a little jealous of everything. He's definitely somebody who wants to be liked, you know, at, at that dance when everyone was, I think it was there. Yeah. Everyone was cheering on Mercer and, and chanting his name, 
No one gave a shit about Lance, and that bugged him. Oh, man, that hurt his ego bad. So, you know, if, you know, somebody who wants to be liked that much, that wants that fame and that power and to be adored by everybody, that's scary. And I think Carol's going to see right through that and probably use him. And I think things can get really interesting there. Like, I think that that's where some of the stuff about the Civic Republic are going to come out, because I think Lance... He's going to get desperate and he's going to start to leak stuff. I think he's going to he's going to trust Carol too much because I think he's going to think that, well, Carol's just a, you know, a baker like she's nothing. And again, there is like this other military force inside the hilltop. I believe that's the hilltop. It looks like the hilltop. It's all burned and stuff. And um, yeah, I mean, this is just like I don't know what this is related to. Is this Commonwealth related? Like, do they have a, a secret like task force that will do this that, you know, they're not necessarily wearing the, the white armor? It is very possible. Like this could just be Commonwealth related, definitely. But I'm curious about it because uh, I've never, I've never seen anything like this. This doesn't happen in the comic. This could be CRM related, or or it could be something else. I, I have no idea. And uh, yeah, you just go going through the rest of the shots here. I mean, it's just a lot of crazy stuff in here. We have this one shot here of Aaron, uh, Daryl, and Gabriel. This is just so cool. <laughs> it's just so cool to see that. You know, what's also sad though is that Gabriel. I don't see him wearing like the you know like the priest collar or whatever. And it just kind of, yeah, like at this point, Gabriel is even a priest anymore. It kind of feels like he's given up his faith, and that's sad. But we do see Aaron, and uh, yeah, no idea what's going on here. It almost feels like they're both being arrested in a way, and Daryl's sort of forcing them to to listen and sort of go through this. Because Aaron and Gabriel don't look happy. They look stressed out about all of this. And yeah, Daryl's going to be in a weird position here where he's kind of like, is he arresting his friends like just to, to live this way? Like, what is he doing? Right. So, yeah, it's going to get a little scary here. And then basically, that's kind of the rest of the trailer. I mean, there's a lot of new shots here and there. We do see a shot. I, I believe that Commonwealth Trooper on the ground is a walker. So I wonder if maybe Daryl's not killing Commonwealth troops like, like we're thinking. And maybe there was just one that was a walker. I have no idea. I mean, I will say during that scene, Aaron and, and Daryl are actually together here at that bus scene, right? You do see Aaron. He's actually shooting at Commonwealth troopers or walkers and stuff like that. And so you go back to this shot here where you see Daryl, Aaron, and Gabriel. This it has to be from the same episode, right? Because Aaron's wearing the exact same outfit. So yeah, very interesting stuff here. But anyways, I'm going to leave it here. Definitely post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to be a subscriber if you want more walking to content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.